Hello friends, welcome to CyberCAD Solutions. In this session, I would like to explain different error messages those are returned by Autolist program. Okay, let's start with an example. Let us try to initialize a variable called a. Set q a as 2. Now, if you want to display the value of a by popping up a message, I mean like if you want to display the current value of a with a pop-up message, what do we do? We will be using alert. So alert a. Alert will take a string argument and it will show that string as a pop-up message. And what happens when we try to show a numeric value means either integer or a real number using alert function. Let us see that one. So first of all load the first statement so that a will be initialized to 2. So I am loading the first one. So what happened? a will be initialized with value 2. Now let us try to execute this alert statement. So I am loading that. See what happened? It is showing an error message saying bad argument type string p2 which means like 2 is not a string. Alert will take a string argument always. Let us write a string in place of a. I am writing hello over here. Now try to execute this statement. It will show hello. So if you provide a string it will show but if you provide a non-string then it will show this kind of message. If, okay now try to use i to a i to a and I am giving another variable b which is not defined till now which means like b is nothing but nil as of now because it is not initialized. So if you are trying to use a variable which is not existing then what happens let us see. So select this statement and load this see what is it saying error bad argument type similar to the earlier one but here it is a bad string here it is a number which is a nil number it is saying here bad string 2 here it is saying there is no number available means nil is passed as argument if you use any variable which is not yet declared it will return a message saying bad argument nil let us try to create a circle with list of properties using ant make function. I am writing like this ant make list of properties entity type is circle and circle center is I am giving p which is not available and uh, radius 40 code is radius I am let us say I am giving 5. So what are the basic things required to draw a circle center point and radius. So here we are providing center point and radius but here the p is not yet declared and that is not available in the current session. So I am writing like this. Now let us try to execute this one means we are, we are providing a variable which is not existing. So let us load this one. So it is saying error bad dxf group. Sometimes your program may crash and if your program is returning this kind of message that means somewhere when you are trying to create an object using a dxf group code which is not yet available so here 10 dxf group code value is not available that is why it is saying a bad dxf group code value at 10 so 10 association list has been failed so that is why it is saying like this okay let us try to check another thing if you try to concatenate uh, string with a number means like a string with a non-string let me show you an example str cat hello i am giving a variable say name name variable is not available otherwise if you give a number like this 10 so str cat can concatenate only string to another string but here we are providing a string and a number which means the str cat will give an error message let us try to load this statement so i am loading this like this see it is saying bad argument type string p10 which means it is not a string value it is saying so these are all i am trying to explain you to make sure that when you are running a program and it has been crashed then for sure you will get a message error message like this so by looking at that error message you can understand what happened in your program and you can correct it easily okay so for that reason only i am trying to explain you all these error messages okay 
and then let us see the another one uh, i want to explain a function called enters hope all of you know enters is a function which will return the intersection point of four points which means let me show you uh, if you have two lines crossing the two lines will have start and start and which means like four points you will have they may be like this say stp1 and p1 and stp2 and end p2 so if you write like this if there are these four points available the enters function will return the intersection of these two vectors like from the start to end there will be one vector and the second start to second end there will be the second vector the intersection of these two vectors will be returned by this enters function otherwise you can write right simply we can write like this p1 p2 p3 p4 like this so let us say i am removing the last point and i am giving only three points so what what happens then let us see this so i am loading this statement see what is it saying error too few arguments which means less number of arguments are provided than required so whenever you see this kind of message at the crash of your program which means that you have provided not enough arguments to a particular function make sure that all the arguments sufficient number of arguments are provided for the function calls and then let us see another example distance from p1 to p2 here you must understand that this p1 and p2 variables are not available so let us see what happens and the select this statement and load this one see what happened it is saying like bad argument type 2d 3d point nil which means like these points are not available please check that's what the message meaning so like this if you provide a nil values or you were expecting that user will pick p1 and p2 and unfortunately he didn't pick them but he just press enter to finish the inputs so in such cases p1 and p2 will become nil so and you are trying to read the distance between those two points then you will get this kind of error message saying that p1 and p2 are nil in the previous classes i have explained how to validate inputs so always you should validate your input before you are going to use them in different calculations or in different methods like this and then sometimes we will be writing like this so let us say i am trying to divide a variable with another variable set q a as 10 and b as 0 now load this statement and then i am trying to divide a with b so what happens divide by 0 error will come so see error message divide by 0 which means like in the expression which you are trying to execute the denominator is 0 whenever your denominator becomes 0 it will return a message called divide by 0 let us try to write a small function like this define print line and one string variable repeat for 60 times print the given string repeat close and the function close so what does it do when you call this function and provide a string it will print the same string for 60 times which will become like a line let us try to load this function first of all so that you can understand the functionality now let us try to call this function say print line i am providing equal to so let us try to run this statement see what happened 60 times the equal to has been printed means like it looks like a line if you call the same function without any arguments what happens print line so i am trying to load this and see what happens so it is saying too few arguments means required number of arguments are not available let us say if you give two arguments like this underscore and equal to now let us see what happens so it is saying too many arguments means for a function when you call if you provide more number of arguments it will say too many arguments if you provide less number of arguments it will say too few arguments so if your program crashes on the run and if you see a message like this too few arguments which means you have given less number of arguments for a function call if you see too many arguments error which means you have provided more than required number of arguments for a function call so you need to check in that way
okay then let us try to write another example i am trying to prepare a association list so i would like to call assoc test association from a normal list say an integer list so what does it do which means like there is no association list at all in this list but still i am trying to retrieve an association list from the given list so see what happens it is saying bad association list if you try to retrieve an association list from a list which is not containing associated lists then you will get this kind of error bad association list now let us see another example for a selection set so ss get is used to select objects and the cp means crossing polygon so we need to provide a list of points for this say p1 p2 p3 like this so but this p1 p2 p3 points are not available so in such cases what does it do let us try to execute this statement see what is the error message bad list of points which means you are trying to use a list of points which are not valid that is why the ss get selection has been has been failed and we will get this kind of error message bad list of points similarly if you try to call a function which is not available then also you will get a message saying that so and so function is not available let us see that one also say i am calling a function say show up and say with exam uh, some arguments 1 2 so if you are trying to call a function which is not existing its function definition then let us see what happens it will say no function definition show up okay so if your program has been crashed and if you see a kind of message like this saying show up is not available which means you have made a call to this function which is not defined in your code so check up for that one you try to call a function whose definition is not not available in your code so please check the code and make sure that this function is available so friends we have seen different error messages that those are like bad arguments and a few few arguments too many arguments and bad association list and bad list of points and no function definition available like this auto list will be giving different error messages based on that you need to check your program what's the problem caused the program to crash okay friends friends hope this session is useful to you if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and share this video to your friends thanks for watching and welcome to the next session